Hi there, Scott Hamilton, Rockfile, back with another podcast review for your ears. This is going to be a techie one. We're going to be talking about Feet Electric Smart Wi-Fi Bulbs. The short version is, if you've ever wanted to play with RGB uh, computer-controlled lighting in your home and you found the Hue systems and some of those other systems way too expensive, I discovered these. Um, They have the connectivity and pretty much all of the features you would find in the more expensive units. You can buy these bulbs in a three-pack for $19.99 on Amazon. That's pretty cheap. Less than $7 a bulb. If you've ever wanted to play with this, get a set, put them in a room, put them in three lamps, try them out. I'm going to go into great detail about how they work, but I'm just, the short version is they're fantastic for the money. All right, let's get into the meat. Um, I played with RGB LED light strips on the back of my work computer desk um, when I was working from home. I really liked it. It was a dark corner of a bedroom, and it gave me um, some radiant light. Certain parts of the day or maybe in the evenings, I change the lights. Um, I tend to like that deep blue color because it's less eye strain, especially when you're using monitors or watching TV. Um, And it just... And I could turn them bright white. You know, I could do different things with them. It was nice. They had a little remote control. They worked with an app on the phone. Really enjoyed the experience. For the last few years, I just haven't been in the situation to to do anything else. I've always looked when I go into Best Buy, when I'm online looking in different shops. Um, I'm following the different systems that are available, the Hue systems and whatever, because the obviously to ultimately control it with your voice and that kind of thing would be the you know the ultimate goal uh, to use these kind of devices. But they were always cost prohibitive. The Hue bulbs one is twenty to twenty five bucks at most stores. If you do your whole house, that's quite expensive to play with the technology. If I knew how it worked, I knew if I liked it, then I'd spend the money. And after spending a couple of weeks with these, I should have spent the money. <laughs> you know, but I'm glad I didn't because I discovered this brand. Feet Electronics, F E I uh, Electric. Found them on um I found the bulbs in Walmart here in Kenai, Alaska, but they are on Amazon, and they have a variety of products. They are much more reasonably priced products that do everything the major expensive ones from Philips and other companies do. Each of these bulbs are about a 60-watt equivalent. They rate at 800 lumens. They are voice-activated. On the front, it says they're compatible with Alexa, Siri, and Google. Um, they are Wi-Fi, they are tunable white, they are color changing. And you get three in a box for nineteen ninety nine. So that's what I did. Well, let me go back just a hair. A couple months ago when I was setting up my home theater in this new apartment, um, gold box of the day was a line of RGB light strips, and I had played with those kind of things before. I didn't want to spend a lot of money, but I did want them in my living room behind the TV kind of thing. And they had a really long one for, it was like 18 bucks. Didn't have Wi-Fi, wasn't going to work with Alexa, but I'm like, for the money, and I, I want to start playing with this stuff again, I'll just buy that and play with it. So I bought it. I connected it to the back. I have two bookshelves next to my home theater system. It's got some of my speakers on it. And it works great. The the shelves and everything, the home theater system is a little bit off the wall. So when I turn them on, you don't see the lights. You just see the glow on the back wall. It, It can pretty much change it any color. And I'm using it in unison with these bulbs. But eventually, I will get light strips from Feet Electric that will be controlled with everything. So that was the first thing I got. Now I've set up a home office where I'm recording this right now, and at night, I got a desk lamp for the overhead light, and that's just not really Venus flight trap, if you remember WKRP in Cincinnati. It's just not, you know, now that I got cool light in the living room, why don't I have cool light? So I was killing time in Home Depot one afternoon, and I found these little light poles. They're LED light poles. They're about 12 inches. They come with a plastic stand. You can have them vertical or horizontal, and they connect with USB to whatever USB device you have nearby. 
They were about 15 bucks at um, Home Depot, so I quickly looked them up, and I can get it at Walmart for 10 bucks. So, Sorry, Home Depot. I know you'd price match, but I'll get, I did buy some lamps there to do the, the light things, but that's a whole other story. We'll get to. So I bought one, and I brought it home, and obviously this is for my computer room, so I didn't mind the whole USB thing. Now that I've used it, I would only get USB-powered stuff if it's going to go in a home office or somewhere where you have a lot of USB connections. So I played with the first light bar, connected it to a USB. I have a powered USB strip. Um, I have three computers in this room. And my main beast has enough, barely enough USB ports. And I found many years ago that if I fill up those USB ports, my computer eats power. Um And so I offload some of that duty onto a powered USB, I think it's 3.0, block. And it's got three charging, and the rest of the 10 USB ports are are high-speed ports. So use the charging ports of my phones and and, and MP3 player and whatnot. And I connected one of these light bars to that. And it worked perfectly. It synced with an app I downloaded. Um, the name escapes me, but it comes under different names. Just look just look for a LED light bar at Walmart or um, Home Depot. It's pretty much the only one that's USB compatible. 10 to 15 bucks. Um, it really worked great. It worked so well that I went back and I bought two more. And that's what I use in the computer room now. It's much easier to set up than light strips. You can put them behind your computer monitor. They, it's just a pole. It's a... Um, it's a couple inches wide and 12 inches long. And like I said, you can stand them up on one end or you can do it horizontal. It looks like a, um, a rear view mirror in your car. And I have two standing up, one's behind a monitor, one's in the corner. So it lights up the whole corner. And then I have one under a shelf and it's, um, it's horizontal. So I connect them all to the app and I can make them any color and they work all in sync. That was the, they're all the same brand. So once you plug them all in, you add them each one to the app. I thought it worked great. I might get the light strip that works with that brand, but it's a different brand than feet. And like I said, it comes under two different brand names at two different stores, but they're the same thing confirmed on the box and everything. They just changed the brand name that basically keeps the price matching to a minimum because they're not exactly the same, right? So after playing with the light strip, which I love in my living room, and playing with the light bars in here, which I absolutely love, um, I had upgraded my sound system in here, and I moved my. I had bought a cheap Logitech surround sound system for about forty bucks at Walmart, and it really doesn't sound bad. It's got a subwoofer. I use that in the bedroom now. Put the subwoofer under the bed and put the two satellite speakers on either side of the bed, and it's great. I wanted some mood lighting in there, so again, killing time in Walmart. And I found these light bulbs. I'm looking all over and I'm like, wow, that's expensive. Wow, that's ex- wow, that three pack, that's reasonable. Now to buy these bulbs separately, they're 12 to 15 bucks each. But if you buy them in the three pack, you can get the three pack for 20 bucks. So I bought the first three pack and I figured I would, I don't know. I had a lamp in the bedroom, so I tried it in there and I was going to put the other two somewhere else, Right. So I put it in the lamp, and it connect to an app. Feet has a Feet Electric app. Connects much like the light bars do. It has their own internal network. Um, they have their own internal network addresses. You you put your phone on the same network they're on, and they find each other. It was very quick, and the bulb worked spectacularly. Now this is a much greater app. And I'll get into that in a minute, but go feet. Keep doing what you're doing because it, it blows the other ones I've tried so far away. I, I imagine this is probably what Hugh is like the from Philips, which is really expensive. Um, so then I went and I, I bought two lamps. I was looking for cheap lamps. Most things here are a little bit more expensive, but things like furniture, things that are hard to ship here, are pretty expensive. But I found these lamps that were actually reasonably pl- priced at, at Home Depot, and they're small, and they're, I don't, they're not the most um, <clears throat> feminine things, but hey, it's a dude's bedroom, why not? They're a brushed nickel. Um, I didn't even notice they had a little charging ports at the bottom, which is great. Um, well, power plugs. Um, 
which I use to charge my phones. Anyway, I bought these two little lamps because they would easily take the two bulbs. And so one of those matching on each side of the bed, and then I moved the lamp that used to be next to the bed to the other side of the room, connected them all up to the app and started to play. Now, you might be thinking in your head, wow, he could turn it blue or red or green or whatever. Yeah, that's great. No, that's the basics. All right, first of all, you know when you go buy lights for your house, one burns out, this is in the days before LED. Hopefully you have changed most of your old style light bulbs to new LEDs. Save some money because they they run for pennies a year. Um, sometimes you forget to get cool white or bright white or daylight or you know soft white or whatever. You can make all these bulbs the same white. If Like I have a cleaning time setting. And I hit cleaning time, and all of the bulbs I have in the house go to the brightest white daylight for me if I want to mop or whatever. I have a Roomba that runs, so you know, I do mop once a week. Um, so that uh, tunable white is one of the features. You don't have to worry about ever you know, matching bulbs again. Love that. And so when people walk into the house, I can, you know, I can have them all on white, and they would never know that I have RGB-colored lighting. Right. All right, so second, you add each individual bulb. So I've got three different bulbs. I can make them three different colors. I can make them fade different ways. I can, you know, so I started playing with like blue greens and, and red oranges and some yellow. And, and I'm like, wow, if I had more bulbs, right? <laughs> so I bought two more sets. Now, granted, I've spent 60 bucks. I have nine bulbs. That's much less expensive than the Philips system horribly less expensive. I mean, radically less expensive. So in my living area, um, what should be the dining room, but I don't really have a dining room table right now, I'm, I'm using the entire living area as kind of a home theater. And so I've got this big TV and the two shelves on either side, a subwoofer in the corner, um, the surround sound system, and the light strips behind all the shelves. So I have a tall lamp in a corner, and I took the lamp out of the bedroom and put that in another corner. And then with the other lights, I have a five-light chandelier in what would be the dining room, right? So imagine I'm having a movie night, and I come in, and all the lights are white. And everybody finds a seat on the couch, or the love seat, or the chair, or pull the stools out of the kitchen and sit in that area. And then I say, you know, lights, sunset, <laughs> And then all the bulbs that I have in there, which is six bulbs plus the strip. The strip I have to do by hand. But everything else works with Siri. And I say, hey, Siri, lights, uh, sunset. All of them turn different shades of orange and red. The whole room just kind of, it's just like instant sunset, which is really cool. And then I can say, hey, Siri, lights, movie time. And then they all turn to like this deep blue and deep, this dark purple that won't show up in the TV screen, but still enough light for you to move around. Kind of that movie theater experience, right? It all does it with one. You basically add each bulb, and then you say, create scene. It says, what do you want to do? I said, well, the first thing I want to do is turn on these lights, and you pick which lights you want. And I have divided my lights up into bedroom and living area. So I can go ahead and set up different scenes just for the bedroom, just for the living area, or both. All right? I don't really have a place for these lights in the bathroom. I would have to get a different kind. I have a lot of those recessed LED lights in this house, which I love. And you can get those. Feet Electric makes those in RGB color changing. I could replace those, but I don't live here. I mean, I don't own the place. so I'm not going to go to the trouble to replace those, but that would be amazing. In, in the, my next house, I will do that. After playing with these nine light bulbs in the strip I have and the three things in the computer room, you really, it sounds like a kid's novelty at first. And, it, you know, it kind of was. I'm a dude. I'm making a man cave, you know. Um, but I've showed it to everyone. I've taken pictures. I've taken video. It's like, this is really useful. All right, think about this. I set up a couple of scenes. I go, lights, Halloween. They all turn purple and orange. I get instant like Jack Skellington going on. <laughs> or I say lights Christmas and they all turn green and red. Every light bulb in the house goes green or red alternating. It's pretty interesting. I haven't even, I want to get somebody who's more artistic than me to, to 
can come up with some other scenes. You can do any colors. There are different phase. There's strobing effects. There's other things you can say. I haven't messed with any of that stuff. So once you create these scenes, then you can go add to Siri or add to Google or whatever system you have. Add to Alexa. And you just check the box on each one to add, and it'll say you have to name them what you want to call them. So I named all my things lights this, lights that, lights bedtime. (laughs) I walk into my room. I've got those two lamps beside the bed. I go, lights bedtime. They go from a bright white daytime light or maybe a soft white if it's evening when I was in there, and they turn to this midnight blue. Just I can even set a timer, and they'll go off. I can set that to go every night. If I went to bed at the same time, I would just set the timer. You can set it to repeat every night to do the same things. You can set the app up when you leave the room, when you leave the house, when something happens. Uh, there's all sorts of different triggers you can set through the app. And it's very simple. You just click a button. I want to do this. I want to do this. So what I do for my scene, the simple scenes I've done is is I select the group. You know, I'm creating a scene. It's going to be for the living room lights. Um, First thing I do is turn on the living room lights. You add that to the scene. Then light bulb number three. My light bulb one and two are in the bedroom. Three through nine are in the living area. So light bulb three will make it red. Light bulb four will make it green. Light bulb five, and you just set it up like that. And then you save it. Then you add it to your Siri or your thing, and you're done. I mean, it's literally that simple. And I, that's how I made the Christmas one, just to see, well, what would, what would it look like? All right, Siri, lights Christmas. <laughs> And my whole house turned in like the Elf Winter Wonderland. So I definitely want to get a strip that matches because what I do now, if I say sunset and everything turns to those oranges and reds, then I have to click the strips behind my TV to the appropriate orange or red color that I think fits the scene. Um, For movie time, I have a blue that I use. I always use for that strip anyway, and I've kind of made the lights match that. So... Imagine if I had him in the bathroom and you had certain scenes for when you took a bath or a shower. You want a bright white in the morning when you're getting ready, but maybe at night you want to have a glass of wine and take a bath. So you set some mood lighting. You could do that. You know, take five minutes, set up your scene. And from then on, you just go say, hey, Siri, do this with the lights. And it does it. It works every time. In the couple of weeks I've been using the nine lights, once one bulb lost a connection to the app, and all I had to do was click on it, and the app automatically reconnected it. I noticed it wasn't changing color, and I looked in the app, and it said, you know, it wasn't talking to it. So I made it talk to it, and that was it. That was all you had to do. Um, I moved the lights around, and they remember what their numbers are and what they are. So they've got kind of a memory on them. That I found that interesting. All in all, I'm thrilled. I didn't have to spend a lot of money. I spent under 100 bucks, and I've lit the whole house. You know, I can, I can, I could have a party and make it party lights, or, you know, sometimes at night, just watching a movie with the deep blue lights is really cool. Or before I go to bed, you know, I go lights, reading lights, and I have these. Um, my bedroom lights go to a soft light, but very bright, but it's soft. It's softer on my eyes, and I read for a little bit, and then I say bedtime, and they turn to that blue, and then when I'm about to fall asleep, I just go up. Uh, Siri lights. Bedroom lights off, I think is what I have it set for. And the lights just go off. Like I said, I could set the timer and it all be automatic and I could just fall asleep. And I'll do that eventually. I'm still, I'm a couple weeks into this. But the more I play with them, the more I see possibilities. Um, You know, for whatever. The, The fact that I can play with them in all the colors and everything, but then go to the bright white for actual logistical things. If I I have this model I'm working on, so I pull it a little table out and I can work on it with extremely five, extremely bright lights. They're 800 lumens each. You know, it's pretty bright when you crank them all up. You've got uh, any kind of brightness you want to do with it, any kind of saturation of the color. Maybe you want pale blue or a pale pink or... uh, Literally, you can do anything with these bulbs. They look like regular light bulbs. You know, they're the plastic LED things you see everywhere else. But the fact that they all connect together and you can do all these things, it's fantastic technology. It It is, you know, I've stepped up in each room. And now um, when I move somewhere else, I would do the whole thing in um, feet electric. I, I just think so far with the original RGB stuff I had in my office, those original strips, I would lose connectivity every once in a while with the app. Um, 
every once in a while in my computer room, one of those light bars will stay on or stay off, and I'll have to turn them off and turn them back on, and then it catches up. I really haven't had any of those kind of problems. There was that one-time connectivity, but we're also talking Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and you're going to lose connectivity every once in a while. You just reconnect it. I'm really impressed with the technology. Um, They make some outdoor ones, um, waterproof, which I think would be great. They make a variety of other things, too. They make some that are just white, but they're still computer-controlled with this app and with the whole scene thing. They have some of those old-timey-looking ones with the clear globes and the and the bright filaments that are still LED but and don't change to blue, red, and yellow, but they will change brightness and things like that. Um, you could do your whole house in this stuff for uh, uh, pennies on the dollar compared to what the Philips Hue system. What I've done would have cost hundreds of dollars here. I just, you know, I'm not going to spend that kind of money on colored lighting for my house. But if I could buy nine light bulbs for 60 bucks, and that almost what some of these LEDs cost anyway, I don't know. Check it out, F-E-I-T Electric. Like I said, you can find it on Amazon. You can find it at Walmart. You can probably find it other places. I haven't really looked that hard. I'm in Alaska. I don't have that many choices. Um, but the technology is solid. It works great with my iPhone. Um, it says it's also Android compatible. It works with any system out there. I've got to say the, the Apple version works fantastic. I use it every day. I love it. I mean, I created one called Green Room. I have light and dark greens in all the bulbs in my living area, and it makes this really cool kind of glowing room. There's enough light. I mean, it's, it's, it, these are bright enough to be real light bulbs, right? The, the whites are really bright, 800 lumens. Um, so the colors are very bright. You can see. I'm sure my neighbors probably wonder what's going on here. There's a disco up here with all the different light colors sometimes when I'm playing with them or changing. I'm going to get into there's things that they can be in motion. You know, they can be ch- color changing and strobing and, and fading or whatever. And I haven't really played with that yet, but we'll get there. So far, so good. The first couple of weeks, feet electric. Um, they are, it's getting dark in here. I should use them, right? Smart Wi-Fi bulbs, three in a box for 20 bucks. Find them on Amazon and Walmart. Play with the technology if you want. If you have kids, get them to them for a birthday or Christmas. They would have a blast with these. Three, they could do a whole room. Two, light up my, I have a pretty big bedroom. Two, all I need. Three in there was fantastic. So use all three in in a small room. It's amazing what you can do. So check them out and try them. Um... I bought these myself. Nobody paid for this review. I liked them so much. This is not the kind of stuff I review. I just thought they were really cool. So check them out. Feet Electric Smart Wi-Fi Bulbs. Interesting. Scott Hamilton Rockfile. If you want more stuff like this, let me know. Links are below. Patreon uh, gets exclusive stuff. And you were here and listening. I really appreciate that. Have a great day. Have a great day.